If the past is gone and the future hasn't happened, does the present really exist? This question lies at the heart of philosophy, physics, and human consciousness, and the answer depends on how we define time itself. In everyday life, we think of the present as the now, the moment we're living through, the thin slice of time between what has already happened and what has not yet arrived. But when we look closer, this present moment becomes surprisingly slippery. Neuroscience shows that our brain processes information with small delays, milliseconds behind reality, meaning the moment we think of as now is actually the brain's reconstruction of a slightly earlier moment. Philosophy complicates things further by asking whether the present is a real independent thing or just a concept we use to make sense of experience. Some philosophers argue that only the present exists, a view called presentism. In this view, the past is no longer real, the future is not yet real, and the present is the only true state of existence. Others, especially in the philosophy of time and physics, argue for eternalism. The idea that past, present, and future all exist equally, and our sense of moving through time is just a feature of consciousness. In physics, particularly in Einstein's theory of relativity, time is not a single universal flow. Different observers can experience different presents depending on speed and gravity, suggesting that the present is not a fixed, objective slice of reality. So does the present exist? It exists as a human experience, an ongoing awareness shaped by memory and anticipation. But as an isolated, measurable thing, the present is more like a boundary between two unknowns, constantly changing, impossible to freeze or define precisely. The present is real to us because it is the only place where we can act, think, and feel. Yet scientifically and philosophically, it may be less a moment in time and more a perception created by our minds to navigate an ever-flowing universe.